What is going on YouTube? This is AJ Pay here, bringing you another Pokemon Wi-Fi battle. This one is against the Fat Panda, and it's a UU match. Pretty much, I like this game because I got to use all my pokes here. As you will clearly say why I'm saying this after the match ends. So, I'm going to predict him to lead off with Ambipom here, as I'm going to lead off with my Hitmontop just to get this Intimidate drop on this Ambipom so it's fake out and U-turns won't do much to me. As now he's just going to go and fake out, which does actually more than I thought it would, because it turns out he's Life Orb and the techni Technical Boost, I guess. And now he's I'm going to predict him to U-turn here, as I'm going to go for a Toxic, predicting him to bring in his Deoxys D. However, he decides to bring in this Whimsicott with here, which kind of surprised me. And now I got the Toxic on this Whimsicott, and this Toxic actually does help me a lot with this Whimsicott, as you'll see here in a moment. Now I'm going to switch into my Vitini here, predicting him to go for the Stun Spore just as uh, status fodder. As now I'm going to get taunted here. I don't know why he would taunt, but okay. Now he's going to go for that Stun Spore here, as I'm going to go ahead and U-turn out into my Heracross right here. I didn't want my Heracross to be paralyzed. I'd rather have it have my Toxic Orb, as you'll see that my Heracross is Guts is a Guts Boosted set. And now I'm going to go ahead and set up the sub, knowing that this Whimsicott can't do anything to me. And if it, if it does decide to stay in, it's going to die from the poison damage. And if it decides to switch out, well, I get a free sub. So either way, it's a free sub for me. And down goes this Whimsicott here. Now, I know I set up Sunny Day just for this Vitini and Jump Up that, that you'll see later. Now this Vitini is going to break myself with a Recreate here. And I know for a fact now that... I'm going to be able to Oko this with a Stone Edge Barn that I don't miss since it's super effective, Guts boosted, and his defense has fallen from V-Create. And down goes this uh, Vitini here, which was probably the biggest threat to my team and his biggest offensive horsepower. Uh, I don't know what the hell I'm saying. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to switch into my Ambipom here. I'm mean, not my Ambipom. My hit on top to get the Intimidate drop on the Ambipom. As I thought he's going to go for Fake Out, but he actually goes for a double hit trying to finish off my Heracross. Now, it's, now I overpredict here thinking he might try to stay in here and try to finish off my Hitmontop with a double hit. So I'm going to go for the close combat. But now he actually switched into this Jump Puff right here which is annoying as hell. And now this part I sped it up a bit as basically I'm just trying to find an opportunity to safely switch in my Raikou so I can finish this thing off. As I know for a fact he's going to go for the Sleep Powder here and I'm trying to waste uh, turns from Sunny Day as well so that way... Uh, this jump up won't be faster than my scarf Raikou, but I don't really know if a Raikou is faster than a chlorophyll um, jump up. As now he's just gonna go ahead and sub and in le leech seed, and at this point I'm just trying to wake up and <laughs> trying to break this sub. And as you'll see here, he gets the leech seed, and I'm still asleep. Man, I should have sped this part up faster. Well, now the sun's out, so that's good. Now the sun is gone forever too, since it's Whimsicott is dead, barring that his other pokes don't know Sunny Day, which I'm assuming that he doesn't. And now he goes for Elise Seed, predicting my switch, I guess. I don't know why. But I go for the close combat, and I'm finally able to break the sub. I don't think the crit mattered, because Jump Puff doesn't have the greatest de defense in the world. And now I'm able to switch into my Vitini here, knowing that if he, if he got, decides to go for a Sleep Powder, free switch in for me. If he goes into sub, well, I can break it with the U-turn, because I'm Choice Banded. So he goes for the sub, as now he's just going to predict a switch or something, I don't know. <laughs> as I'm going to go for this uh, U-turn here, I don't know why he didn't go for Leech Seed. Well, anyways, I go for that U-turn to break the sub, now I'm going to the Raikou here, it's Scarfed, so it's definitely faster than this Jump Puff now that the sun is gone. And now I'm going to go in for the Hidden Power Ice here, it's times 4 super effective, so this Jump Puff will easily die. Now he's going to go ahead and switch out to his Ambipom here as I'm just going to go ahead and switch out and go into my Cabalion here instead of my Hitmontop simply just because I don't want my Hitmontop taking any more damage as I can probably save it for Death Fodder later, possible Death Fodder at least. And I know for a fact this Cabalion can wall this uh, Ambipom bar that doesn't have low kick. And now he's going to go for a U-turn and I thought he was going to go for that low kick so I, I go for the close combat here. But instead he switched out into this Mew. Now this Mew was annoying as hell during this game. Because I did not know what set this was. As the name does kind of give it away but I'm pretty stupid. So I'm just going to go ahead and try to figure out this set. And switch out to my Uxie here. I don't know how to say it. I'm just going to call it Brock. And it's Brock here is going to take this Psychic pretty well. Because it's pretty. Because Brock is a pretty damn good wall. Pretty underrated wall in my opinion here. 
as I'm just gonna go ahead and try to go for the Thunder Wave to cripple this thing as he's gonna go ahead and taunt. Now at this point I know he's the star breaking set as his name clearly suggests it is. And now I'm gonna go ahead and switch into my Kabalion here knowing that I could wall this thing and that I can... This thing could da potentially damage it well with Stone Edge. However, I forgot Stallbreaker also has Will-O-Wisp. And now basically this Kabalion is kind of useless to me. But I decided to stay in here just to see how much this uh, Stone Edge will do and possibly get a crit. And this Stone Edge does crap. It absolutely does nothing. So now basically this Kabalion is useless, but not really useless because my Uxie does have Heal Bell, so it doesn't really matter to me. As I'm going to go switch into my Vitini here knowing I can take any hit from this thing, because it basically the only attack it has is Psychic, so I can probably take those for days. Now he's going to go ahead and, pre and go for a Taunt here, predicting me to puff up or something and prevent me from doing that. As I tried to go for a U-turn here, but I get paralyzed. And now he's going to switch into this Ambi Palm here as Death Fodder or predicting me to get paralyzed again, para hacks. As I'm going to go for a U-turn and it's Choice Bandit, so it's going to easily knock out this Ambipom. So down goes the Ambipom, I'm going to switch into my Scarf Raikou here. And now at this point, I wanted, I know for a fact I won this game, even though he has two pokes left that could stall me. As I'm going to play a game, it's called the Volt Switch U-Turn Game, which is a pretty fun game if you're able to success successfully um, get it to work. As I get a crit there, it's useless as you'll see in a moment as he's going to go ahead and go for a taunt again as I think he should have just went for a psychic but I guess he goes for a taunt. As now I'm going to go ahead and try to U-turn here however, he shows that he has roost, I should uh, honestly, I should have known that, I should have known that stall breaking Muse also have roost, that's why it's stalling. And basically it nullifies my crit as he gets full health back but I go for a choice man and U-turn here and it doesn't do as much as I thought it would, but it does a pretty good amount. Now at this point, I know I can't I can't um, continue this Volt Switch U-Turn game because I know for a fact that Volt Switch will not kill this uh, Mew. So I'm going to have to try to go for the Thunderbolt to see if it actually kills this Mew. It does not, but luckily for me, he doesn't go for the Roost. He actually goes for a Psychic here. So I could have continued the game, but he should have went for a Psychic. I mean, not Psychic, Roost. It would have been better. He would have been able to stall me a bit better. And now I'm going to go ahead and try to stay in and finish off this Mew. But he actually switches into this uh, Yox's D here as I'm locked into the Thunderbolt. And it takes it pretty damn well. Now at this point, I know the fastest way to end this game is to use my hair cross to finish off this Yox's D and this Mew. However, both this Yox's and Mew is faster than my uh, hair cross. And I need to find a situation where I can safely switch in my hair cross. Which now the best way to do it is with this Vitini here. This Vitini is going to go last since it's paralyzed, so I'm going to go ahead and go for U-turn and take this Yox's D down to the point where it needs to recover. And I know for a fact my Heracross can take one layer of rocks and spikes, so I'm just going to go ahead and switch him in, which he's in right now. And now I know for a fact he's going to go to recover because he thinks he can survive a Megahorn or he's predicting my Megahorn to miss, which I usually do miss. But in this case, I am not going to miss here, and this will easily take out this Yox's D since it's stab. Guts boosted and super effective. And now at this point, I know I've won this game as this Mew is down at low health. Where if it decides to stay in and take out my Heracross, I will just go out to my Raikou, my Scarf Raikou, which is faster than this Mew, and take it out. Or he can just go ahead and roost and predict me to miss my Megahorn. Well, I'm not gonna miss the Megahorn, and I'm gonna hit it, and that will take out this Mew. So yeah, so that is a 6-0 win for me. So that was a good game for me at least. As you can see, I was able to use all six of my pokes and still win with a 6-0, which kind of amazes me, I guess. But it probably doesn't amaze anyone else. But yeah, like if you like, comment if you like, and subscribe if you like. And I'll see you guys later.